Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. You guys already know the drill. If you want to see AMC hit all-time highs sometime this week, make sure to like this video for some good luck. Let's go for 500 likes in this video. All right, so AMC closed down just a mere 2.42% as of Friday, but it was still up quite a bit over the last week, 14.68% to be exact. So week over week, it still is growing. On top of that, we did see AMC close on May 7th at $9.51, May 14th. 12.98, May 21st, 12.08, May 28th, 26.12, June 4th, 47.91, June 11th, 49.09, and June 18th, 59.40. So that brings us to next Friday. Where will AMC close if you follow along where it's been closing lately? It's likely going to close at another high. And what's crazy is AMC is holding up in price as well as having week over week gains. Even when the rest of the market has been selling off like crazy due to various reasons, such as the Federal Reserve raising rates in the future, the market has been pretty scared and a lot of people are taking profits and taking shares off the table. The market was down pretty hard last week. Now, this is a really recent Wall Street bet post that I saw and I want to share with you guys. It says it's been a tough week in the market with SPY dropping 2%, Dow Jones Industrial Average posting its worst weekly loss since October, and most popular stocks taking a beating. The main reason for the fall is the concern that Federal Reserve could start raising rates sooner than expected due to inflation concerns, bringing a stop to the continuous rally we've seen in the last year. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight into the most discussed stocks of the week. Now, look real closely here, guys. Which stock is number one even after all of the weeks of it already being number one? The stock that's been most discussed over the last week is yet again AMC. Now we see here on Swaggy stocks that the common volume, the positive sentiment and the negative sentiment. So look again here, AMC is number one with a 34 positive sentiments, a 16 negative and a 14.12% on common value. Now AMC over the last week beats out every single other stock, even when there are a lot of other stocks, especially the stocks with high short interest are being talked about quite a bit. If we look right here at all the stocks with high short interest, sort of from top to bottom, workhorse being 40.21% of short high interest. Top to bottom, there are quite a few names in this list that have been getting a lot of mentions and have been getting some good activity in the stock market, such as workhorse, clove, geo, blink. I'm just naming a few that I've had my eyes on at least. We've also seen CLVS go crazy, uh, space, as well as various other ones on this list. Now, partially the reason why some of these are gaining some traction is of course because of the short high interest, meaning that there is a high amount of the overall stocks that are currently shorted. And also meaning that those that are shorting the stocks are going to have to close out the positions to cover the shorts at some point in the future. So what happens then is it creates a short squeeze situation. A short squeeze is an unusual condition that triggers rapidly rising prices in a stock or other tradable security. For a short squeeze to occur, the security must have an unusual degree of short sellers holding the positions in it. The short squeeze begins when the price jumps higher unexpectedly. The condition plays out as a significant measure of short sellers coincidentally decide to cut losses and exit their short positions. So by exiting their short positions, they have to buy in to cover their shorts. Now, touching back on this list and why this is again very important, there are a lot of names on this list that have been getting a lot of traction that have been making people a lot of money. And yet, even after all these different names, we still see AMC by far the number one ticker sediment with the comment volume, the positive sentiment, etc. This Wall Street Bets post then says, AMC continues to be the most talked about stock with a 20% week over week gain in stock price. Even though the overall number of discussions seem to be waning, last week AMC had 17K mentions, investors are becoming more and more bullish as reflected in the sentiment. Even though AMC has been running up for quite a while now, it's really nothing new at this point, week over week, now month over month, a, a crazy, crazy amount in the green. The sentiment and the comments are still pretty decent and still the most overall compared to other stocks. Even if they are a little bit less than they were week over week, it still is crazy that this is the number one talked about stock as of right now. And it's not only that people are talking about AMC, they are also putting their money where their mouth is. We see the open interest in some crazy high out of the money strike prices rising up day after day. This is for next week. All of these options are expiring next Friday. We have the 145 strike price call. We have the 100 strike price call, the 70, the 65, the 60, and the 80. These six strike prices are all decently far out of the money from AMC, which gives the options a lower likelihood of actually becoming in the money. 
Yet these option strike prices are the most open interest, meaning that the most people are betting on these strike prices. We have over 45,000 open interest for 145, over 15,000 for 100, the $70 strike price has over 12,800 open interest, and so on and so forth. What's going to be important to watch is the put versus call open interest total though. Going into tomorrow, if we see a huge jump in the call open interest total, um, that's of course being very bullish for AMC, showcasing that even more people are currently going to be betting on AMC going up in price this week. And now for a trading idea going into next week, I think I'm going to have to agree with the overall sentiment of people buying the 145 strike price call option. It costs around $129 right now, which of course will change tomorrow at the open, but this one still is the best bang for your buck if you ask me. AMC has a low likelihood of hitting 145 by next Friday if you ask me, but with around only a 4% chance of AMC actually hitting 145 next Friday, it's obviously pretty low. So why are people betting on this one? Why are they spending $129 more or less to buy this option contract? Well, they're of course buying it exactly why I'm planning on buying it. They're buying it because if they purchase this 145 strike price call option and AMC rips up in price to say 63, 64, even 68, $70, the 145 strike price call is gonna go crazy. It could even double in price pretty easily. So the way that I look at it is spending a few hundred dollars to buy the 145 strike price expiring next Friday is a relatively small bet in the chance to have the option contract double or triple by next Friday. Then you have the choice, of course, to sell out of it, flip out of the option call, take your profit, which, which could be quite a bit of a return just for the short amount of time span that this trade would be in. And lastly, maybe the most important thing we have to keep our eyes on next week is the NSCC 002. This is something that's likely going to pass on Monday. It says right here that the commission designates June 21st as a date by which the commission shall either approve, disapprove, or institute proceedings to determine whether to disapprove the proposed rule change. So this rule change would be huge for AMC because it has a lot to do with the hedge funds and how often they have to report their trades. I made a whole video about it a few videos ago, so make sure to take a look at it. But this also is likely going to pass tomorrow, which could be huge for AMC. But there we have it, guys. Make sure to please like the video. Also, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with everything else that's going on. Thanks as always for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one. And lastly, you guys, we do have a Discord server that's dedicated to investors like you. It's full of dividend investors, option traders, day traders, and much, much more. So join the Discord. The link is down below in the description. It's absolutely free to join. And I hope we see all of you guys in there.